So, um, education's been in the news, and what school should teach, what school shouldn't teach, etc., etc. Of course, you know, one thing people say is, why don't we get back to the basics, reading, writing, or arithmetic? Which got me thinking, and it reminded me of the old alphabet charts we used to have. And of course, you know, we want something to make the alphabet more memorable. Pictures, you know, A is for apple, B is for boat, whatever. And just to keep a common theme going, let's do animals. Because children like animals and people like animals. So, we've got um, the alphabet chart with animals. Which brings us to X. And what begins with an X? So we have the Zerus. And it's one of those animals no one ever thinks about until, you know, once you've learned your alphabet, you don't think about it. Until years later when you're thinking about education and you're deciding to make a video. So I'm going to make a video about the Zerus. Um, it's like the narwhal. We need an animal that begins with an N, otherwise no one would know what a narwhal was if it wasn't for that. Um, remember there was one lever chart that had nightingale for N. Then there's the upside down catfish. There is no good U animal, you know. I've seen a few charts where it had unicorn on it for lack of a better one. I remember there was one third or fourth grade had upside down catfish. We're not talking about any of those. We're talking about the Zerus. So the first thing I learned is that it's not pronounced Zerus. It's pronounced Zerus. Of course, this being on an alphabet chart, none of the children knew it. Teachers didn't really know it that well. Um, it's only when you actually go and try to find out anything about this animal that you find out it's not pronounced Zerus. It's, or Zerus, it's pronounced Zerus. So... Correction, we are not going to talk about the Zerus, we're going to talk about the Zerus from now on. Um, so what about the Zerus? Now, websites disagree on this some. Um, so according to one's website, the scientific name is Zerus erythropus, or Eurythropus, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. And there are four subspecies of Zerus urethropris. There's the Cape Ground Squirrel, the Striped Ground Squirrel, the Mountain Ground Squirrel, and the Unstriped Ground Squirrel. Now, if you go into Wikipedia and look up Zerini, Zerini is a suborder of animals which the Zerus falls under. And they will tell you that all of these other things are suborders of the Zerini, and that there is only one true Zerus, and that is the unstriped ground squirrel. Uh, Zerus ruteus, whereas the other three, Cape ground squirrel is Zerus inorius, striped ground squirrel is Zerus erythropus, which the first site said was the main Zerus thing, so um, not sure what's going on there. The mountain ground squirrel is Zerus princeps, and the unstriped ground squirrel is Zerus ruteus, which Wikipedia claimed is the only true Zerus. The others are subspecies of Zerini, which are not Zeruses. And so I have two completely contradictory websites going on here. Um, I sort of like the idea that Wikipedia might be wrong and that these four subspecies are actually different types of Zeruses. I'm going to go with that. Um, another interesting thing about the Zerus. So we've got these alphabet charts with all these animals. They don't have photographs. They've got sketches. So you get to the Zerus, look at the picture of the Zerus, and all the ones I saw it looked like some sort of an armadillo. It looked like it had some sort of weird scaly back and um, looked like it could roll up into a ball. Turns out when you look up Zerus and try to find actual photographs of it online, it looks, first thing I thought is it looked like a prairie dog. And then 
as I just read a bunch of names, it's actually most people look at it as a type of squirrel. So which is it? Is it a prairie dog or a squirrel? And the truth of the matter is it looks like a prairie dog with a long tail. So um, the prairie dogs actually look a lot like squirrels except for the tail. So looks like a squirrel, but it lives in burrows underground. So a lot of pictures will show it popping out of burrows. So it sort of looks like a prairie dog at the same time. So Azurus is this weird squirrel prairie dog mix. Um, if you think about it, if you go and look at pictures, prairie dogs and squirrels look a lot alike except for the tail. So um, I guess there is some justification in saying it looks like a squirrel. I'm calling it a squirrel. Even though when you look up its behaviors, it seems to be a lot more like a prairie dog. So is it a squirrel or is it a prairie dog? Um, I will leave that for the experts. I sort of like the idea that it's more of a prairie dog than a squirrel, even though it's got a squirrel's tail. Um, one thing it has different than both squirrels and prairie dogs is that it's omnivorous. It'll eat plants and animals, or meat and vegetables, if you would prefer. Um, one of its main feeds is seeds. Um, it'll also hunt insects, which is where part of the omnivore comes up. In desperation, it'll eat birds' eggs. And if the weather gets really bad, it'll hunt small rodents and eat them. So this is where squirrels and prairie dogs, to the best of my knowledge, don't hunt other ins rodents and don't eat them. Um, actually, they don't eat insects either. So, while I have this whole, is it a squirrel, is it a prairie dog debate going on my mind, I also have to consider it's got aspects of it which is like neither of them. Um, besides that, like I said, it tends to, mo for the most part, live in burrows in the ground, so it's more like a prairie dog. Uh, social... Sociability, socialism, social actions, however you want to phrase it. Um, I'd say it's a little more like a prairie dog. Uh, squirrels, squirrels sort of, they're living together. It's like they know who their neighbors are. They don't really live together, but they're neighbors. They're friendly with their neighbors. Prairie dogs, you got multiple people. It's more like roommates and neighbors. So, and... Zurisus, or Zurai, is, as the plural actually is, um, again, they, they will live in a common burrow sometimes. So they are a little more like prairie dogs in that aspect. Uh, so what do they eat? Like I said, uh, plants, animals, small insects, um, small rodents when nature, you know, like droughts force them to uh, lizards and jackals and snakes will prey on them. So, again, similar to prairie dogs and squirrels, they've got predators that will go after them from time to time. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is the Zurus or Zuri live in Africa. And so, that's one of the reasons we don't know a lot about them is they don't live in America, they live in Africa. Uh, we learn about them for our, you know, we need an animal with X, so we learn about them for that much. And then we don't pay any attention to them because they don't live around us. So the four subgroups, or four subspecies. The Cape Ground Squirrel, or Zorus and Norris. Um, these live in South Africa, Botswana, and Namibia. Um, these... Wikipedia will say is our actual Geoscurus. So that's their actual, they aren't true Zurisus, they are Geoscurus, even though they belong to the Juris genus, or the Zurus genus. Um, the striped ground squirrel is Zurus erythropus, and Wikipedia calls them Geoscurus. Or something like that. Uh, they live in Morocco, Mauritania, and Senegal. The mountain ground squirrel is Zurus princeps, or um, these are also called Geoscurius by Wikipedia, and they live in South Africa, Namibia, and Angola. And then we have the unstriped ground squirrel, which is Zurus ruteus. 
Wikipedia says these are the only true Xeracis, or Xeri, I keep saying Xeracis, sorry about that. Uh, they live in Sudan and the Tanzania. Um, so again, I personally, I just like to say all four groups are true Xeracis because that's what one website says and Wikipedia gets a little too big for their britches sometimes. I want to cut them down and say that someone else is right and they're wrong. Um, not a zoological expert, but uh, it's fun to think the experts made a mistake or the, the presumed experts. Um, so we got all these animals running around Africa. Uh, one question that came up on a few sites are, are they extinct? And the answer is no, definitely not. Um, like I said, they live in Africa. In fact, African farmers think they're pests because they live in Africa. They get in there and they eat their uh, crops. Sometimes they'll eat er eggs, so I guess you know, if an African farmer has chickens, then it's possible that a Zerus might break into the hen house and eat some of the eggs, even. Um, hope not, but... Um, so why do, why do so many people ask, are they extinct? And that goes back to this whole idea of they appear on alphabet charts, everyone's heard of them, but nobody really sees them because they don't live in America. So almost every American child has heard of a Zerus, as they would see it, call it, or a Zerus, as it's actually pronounced, but they have probably never actually seen one. So it sort of gives them an air, this mythical air, in my opinion, you know. This mythical creature that everyone's heard about called the Zerus, which really doesn't exist because it's a Zerus, and it doesn't live in America, so you're probably not going to see one. So it gives us this whole mythical air, which got me to thinking, you know, how, how will we actually, how can I see one? Because now, now we have this mythical creature, you know, I put, put mythical in finger quotes there because it's not really mythical, but it seems mythical to us because we've heard about it, we're never going to see one. So I could go on safari and let's look for it. And how was your safari? Well, saw the lions and the zebras and the giraffes and yeah, they were nice, but I didn't see a Zerus anywhere. But I assume if I went on a safari and I asked the safari guide, are we going to see any Zeri or Zeruses? They'd probably think I was crazy to leave me back at the hotel. Um, however, I did look up Zerus at the zoo, or Zeruses and zoos, or various. There are nine zoos in the world which have Zeruses, or Zeri. Um, and that is to say, they have, this is uh, zooinstitutes.com found these, and they list them as the Cape Ground Squirrel. So, if you go by the idea that great Cape Ground squirrels are actually Zuri, then these zoos all have Zuri. Otherwise, if you go by the unstriped ground squirrel is the only true Zurus, like Wikipedia says, then these zoos do not have Zuri. So in order to see a Zuri without going on Alpha African Safari, you can go to the Czech Republic, and there are actually three zoos which have Zuri in it. Uh, one at Dvor Krilov, or Krilov, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, one at Pison, and one at Praha. Um, now I saw one reference to the Prague Zoo, and I'm assuming that Praha might be the Croatian name for Prague. I'm not sure about that. Uh, there are two zoos in Germany that have Zuri in them, one at Cottbus and one at Frankfurt on Main. And then there are uh, Roklaw, Poland. There's a zoo there that has Zuri in it. Moscow, Russia has Zuri in a zoo. Yongjin, South Korea have Zuri in a zoo. And Basel, Switzerland have Zuri in one of their zoos. So that's, if you're looking to find Zuri or a Zurus, and you want to see one in real life and convince yourself they aren't mythical creatures that were made up to teach children how, you know, that they exist or how the letter X works, then I would suggest going to one of those zoos rather than going and going to Africa or just to try to find them. And that is all I have. I 
hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that I have raised Zerus. Can't think of the term. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>